What's up guys, Chaos here, bringing you guys another video. Today I'm bringing you guys my final mini scheme for the year. So I've brought you guys probably four to five mini schemes throughout the entire year. Um, in addition to my eBooks, which are in the description, which aren't considered YouTube mini schemes, those are actually like full out schemes that you guys can buy if you're interested in that. Make sure you guys check the description. But I'll bring you guys the final free mini scheme for the entire year. Um, I've, got, I've brought you guys a lot of different things, uh, single bag, shotgun, run heavy, pass heavy, lots of different things that you guys can use. Today I'm bringing you guys more of a pass heavy one. It's tight doubles. Um, many, I've seen, not many people, but I've seen some people use it this year. Um, notable ones would have been um, Turbo Jeff that you guys would have seen in the club series. Um, he played a really, really good game against the champion Paven and uh, did a really good job at it. Now he uses route specialists. I want to bring it to you without route specialists. If you guys want to use route specialists, you guys can add that yourself, obviously. Um, but there's a lot of different things you can do with the Outrun Specialist. Um, McKinley Status, another guy who runs it. Um, so it's really good. Let's jump into the video. And if you guys if you guys really, really, really want to help me out, please drop a like for me. And leave in the comment section what I could do better and what you guys would like to see. But let's jump into this video. Okay, guys. So you guys can see we're in gun tight doubles today. We're in the Steelers playbook. Now, this is a very, very good formation. But the reason why we're in Steelers is because of the play cross wheels. So it's probably the best play in the formation. And Steelers is the only one that I saw with it. So that's why we're in Steelers today. And I have several different setups from this cross wheels play. Um, you guys, the wheel, the wheel is a very good route. The route from Hill, the little crosser is very, very good. And then the running back wheel is pretty much the same thing as mesh spot and mesh post from Gun Bunch. So that's a very good one as well. And then the, the wheel is like the verticals from Bunch. So awesome, form, awesome play. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys lots of different setups from it. The first one here, leave Kelsey on his little stock like kind of drag like thing it's not quite a drag but it's not quite a slant either but then you're gonna hitch hill and streak Watkins now you're gonna motion out the wheel like verticals but you're not gonna let him set you're gonna motion to like one step before he before he sets and then you're gonna watch him beat the cover two up the sideline so right before he sets hike it and you get a nice, like, nice little pocket right there um I'm just going to show, show it a few times, show you guys that it's consistently working. I'll show you guys it against press too, it beats both, so. Great, I got stacked right there, that's my bad. Um, he got a little bit stuck right there and I'm going to show you guys why he did that in a second and what, why you want to make sure not to let uh, Conley set. If you let Conley set, he's going to get stuck pretty much every single time and I'll show you guys that in a second as well, but for now. Just showing you guys that it works. Um, nice, easy read, nice, easy setup because it's going to be clouds. And I'm going to show you guys in a second that it's going to be cover three. Um, let me baseline press here. Show you guys that it still beats that. Just make sure you don't let him set. And I'm going to show you guys right after this why you don't want to let him set. He even got like a little stuck right there, but you're going to see. I'm going to show you guys after this play that if you let him set, he'll get super stuck and he'll never get over the cloud. Um, so. You can see it only gets stuck for a second, if at all, so it's it was fine, like it, it doesn't take much longer to make the read. Um, and then you have obviously, I'm going to show you guys a bunch of different reads on this play. So you see, I see that works consistently. I don't need to show you guys that anymore. Now I'm going to show you guys it with it set and show you guys why not to let them set. So baseline press and now I'm going to let him set and watch, watch the sideline. He's going to get stuck out there. He actually didn't get stuck that time. He gets stuck a lot of the time. Let me try to show you guys it one more time. A lot of the time he'll just get stuck out there. Hopefully it works for you guys. I want you guys to see it and, and trust me. Um, but trying to make it happen for you here. There we go, perfect. I was getting sacked as it happened, but you guys got to see enough of it. I'm gonna go to the replay. So this is what happens if you let him set a lot of the time, pretty much most of the time. Um, he just can't move and you guys are going to see I hadn't even been getting sacked yet like he was getting stuck before it's not like he stopped playing he literally just couldn't move and that's what happens pretty much all the time they just get bumped right here they get, you see that little stutter step right here that's what happens and they can't move and eventually he'll get out but it just takes too long so that's why you do that so that's the main setup the first one 
four out right here. Obviously, I'll show you guys some other reads here. So, obviously, if they if they don't shade down or anything, you have this nice little drag going across the middle. So, the streak's going to carry the bird hook in the mid read. Um, let me show you guys that quickly. So, you see both of these get carried by the streak. And then you're able to instantly throw this drag. Free four to five yards. Um, and then if they blitz you, right? Okay, sorry about that, guys. I just cut real quick. My bad. Um, so where I ended was I was going to show you guys what you guys can do against the blitz, right? So say they're sending sending six at you, right? They're sending a blitz. Here's what you're going to do. So your hot reads are going to be your drag. So your hot reads is going to be your wheel. I'll show you that in a second. Against cover two, it's not going to be open, but it is your first read no matter what. I'll show you guys that in a second. But then you come back to your drag and your hitch, and you're just going to read where the user doesn't play. So right here, slow by that, that hitch. Cloud comes over to like stand behind it, but you're getting blitzed at, so you need to get something out out like hot um, like really quickly. And that's what you're going to do. So I'm just going to do that one more time for you guys. As soon as six at you, and you don't have your wheel, and the user's not there, just quickly low ball, which is LT and B, and throw your hitch. The guy's gonna sit behind it, he'll never play it. You'll get three, four, or five yards, right? Now, obviously, if the if the user plays the hitch, so I'm just gonna this guy's the user right here. I'm just gonna man him up on the hitch. So say he plays it. Um, just gonna hit your drag or your seam streak. So I'll show you guys the seam streak first. Bam, right there. <laughs> They don't want me to be great. They don't want me to be great. Let me chill. All right. So obviously you saw. That. I'm not going to show you it again. Um, the seam streak, and then sorry about that. This is the user. He's going to play the hitch again, or you have your drag, right? So you saw where he went. You make your pick. Doesn't matter. Whatever. You guys see it. Those are easy hot reads. Now, imagine they're blitzing you heavy out of like a cover. So I'll just put a mid read. I like a cover six look or a cover three look. So, so they do this and this, right? So you guys see it. That's the that's the kind of like their base coverage or whatever. So just imagine they're in a cover three, or whatever. They're sending their flat at you, which is something you'll do out of like dollar crossfire, three three five odd crossfire, or if they just send three three five and they want to change their shell, um, and they don't want to give you a deep thing from the wheel. So just motion it out. Bam. So that's why your wheel is the first read. If they ever, ever, ever take away their flat, that's your first read. So you guys see how quickly you can make this read. If they ever take away their flat, bam, you throw it. That's why it's your first look. But the second you see a flat, you look away. Maybe if it's a hard flat, I'll get over it quickly. And I'll show you guys that. But if you guys see a cloud flat out there, let it go. Move on. Move back to these reads right here. If they're blitzing. Now, if they're not blitzing, you can just wait on the wheel as I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. So I'll show you guys a hard flat. Um, to be honest with you, didn't really test it. We're gonna look together. We'll see if it works. One thing I didn't test. This is the only thing I didn't test in the video. The rest of the things are tested. I can tell you that now. So <laughs> this is the one thing I didn't test. I didn't see how quick it would get over a hard flat versus a blitz. Um, yeah, see, against a blitz, you really don't want to wait on it, even if it's a hard flat. Um, obviously, I was able to back up in the pocket and do that. But if I see a flat out there, just look away. You can come back to it if you end up having time because you know it's gonna get open. But now we'll go to uh, cover three look versus this. So just cover three sky, uh, drop. Now I'm gonna show you guys, this works from the wide side. The same exact setup, it's fine. This works from the wide side against cover three. I'm gonna show you it. But it is a little bit better from the short side, so I will show you that. Uh, you can run this play. I have different setups from both hashes and I will show you all of them. But it, this will work from the wide hash. So it is a universal side. And you guys can see, I'm able to fit Conley in there. Now, it was a little bit of a tighter window because the cover three, the cover three uh, deep blue doesn't follow the streak for long. So he goes to this inside streak, watch. He matches for the second, then he passes it back off to the middle one and comes back to your wheel. Now you have space to throw it, but that's only with a, uh, with a hard flat, which is what most people are gonna do from cover three. Every video I show you guys with cover three, most people are playing hard flats. If you're gonna play clouds with your cover three, I pretty much might as well play 
a, a cover two because things like corner routes are still going to get over those clouds and underneath the deep third. So there's really no reason to do it. Now I'll show you guys it with a cloud. But regardless, I really, oh my goodness, I got A-gapped. <laughs> you guys can see there wasn't going to be much space there. Um, I will show it though. Gotta love, gotta love practice mode. Gotta love it. I'm getting hollered at now. Ah, uh, you guys see it. it. Isn't open with cover through the cloud flats, okay? You guys see it. Now, it does work like I showed you guys against the hard flats, but now when you go to this hash, and you, so if you know they're in cover three, run it, run it to this hash, or this hash. So it's the same as I set up. Now watch the, the cover three deep blue this time, right? And you guys see it. Now that looked like a little bit contested. It really wasn't. Uh, I'll show you guys it one more time. And I'll show you why, because the guy follows the streak. So you guys see it. Now I'll show you exactly why, because he's never gonna break off this streak now because you're on the short hash. He always plays it, now watch. He goes to the streak and he doesn't come off it. He's gonna follow it the whole way. Now he only comes off it because I throw it. Now I'm just not gonna throw it. I'm gonna take a sack here just to show you guys that he never comes off the route. Didn't mean to do that because I'm not in cover three yet. Okay, now watch, he's never gonna come off this streak. You guys see it? Now I'm not telling you guys to throw it that way. I'm just showing you guys if you're on the short hash why it's always gonna be open. Now. You guys get that play. Um, I don't really need to show you guys too much more from that. Um, let's move it back to, to this hash. Now I'm gonna show you guys a Max Pro setup. Um, just for just for Mutt really. Here's what here's how I would do it. Just like this. Now I'm motion Conley out a little bit, just like before, and you can playmaker the drag on Hill. Um, that's the only difference. I'm not even gonna show it to you because the wheel and the streak are obviously the same reads. And then you guys can playmaker your, your guy here, but you only have that in Mutt. So I just want to show you guys that quickly. Um, now we're going to go to my next Max Pro setup. Okay, guys, I cut again. So last thing I showed you was a Max Pro, specifically from uh, for Mutt with a playmaker drag. Now I'm going to show you guys a, a Max Pro that you guys can run from everything. Just make sure you guys can pick up blitzes, all that. You basically have a playmaker and hitch to work with. And... Uh, across that's going to beat every coverage. Now I'm going to ID this guy just simply because practice mode is crazy and I've been getting shed like crazy. So right there you guys will see cross is wide open, beats every coverage. It's no problem. Um, let's do it one more time for you guys. Now I'm going to ID this guy again just because um, I don't know man. Practice mode is crazy. This, this nickel corner just eats you for lunch. Um, as you can see right there, beats it again. Good throw from Mahomes. Um, yeah, pretty much overthrown, wide open pass. Those are, that's what you love to see, guys. What you love to see. When you're trying to make a video for the fans, you're getting overthrown dots. Come on. Thank you. Gosh. All right, seriously, though. No, no, no. You guys see the cross is going to beat it, right? And then I'll show you guys some things you can do with the playmaker hitch. Um... Really simple stuff too. I, I mean, just wherever you see it open, playmaker it, playmaker it left if you see it. Cloud flat, um, wasn't the greatest. You guys can see, I'm just trying to show you guys, you guys can honestly throw it right on rip too. Um, like if the guy, if you see the guy dropping back, I'll show you guys that really quickly. Just quick low ball, just like I did before with the hot route, like the, the hot read on the, against the blitz, just quickly low ball, fit that thing in there. Um, but. You can also play maker to the right. I mean, you guys, you guys basically get it. I mean, you guys throw the hitch. You can play maker left, play maker right. Uh, if it's a blitz, that could be your hot read. But you are max point, so you should be able to pick up blitzes. Um, yeah, so that's that's that max pro play. I'm not gonna drown in on you guys. I'm just gonna show you guys the last thing here. A part of it is if they, so if they do this, right. Um, I found a glitch earlier 
in practice mode. That's why I just pinched my line. Don't don't worry about that. <laughs> it's, it's specific to practice mode, and it was just pretty funny. But um, so if they deep quarter, sorry, sorry, I got distracted. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If they deep quarter this guy, the fade's still gonna push it back, and you're gonna be able to throw this cross. I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, as you can see, bam, no problem, right? So it beats every coverage, right? That's a really good play. So you have here's the here's the setups we have so far. You have the Max Pro play like this. Here's one. You have the Max Pro play from Mutt, where you motion out the wheel with the drag. Don't let it set. Okay. Then we have the the base setup, which is this. Motion it out. Don't let it set. Right? So that's our, that's, our, that's our setup so far. Here's the last setup. And it's going to be, I'm going to cut one last time. And we're going to jump into that one. Okay, guys. Last video, uh, last part of the video here. Um, I know it's been long, but there's just so many different good setups from this play. And I just want to be able to show you guys all of them. This last one is a five out, really good short yardage play. Uh, all you're going to do is drag B, slant, uh, curl Kelsey, fade Conley, and you're going to flat Y while he's on the left. You can't do it after you motion. So you're going to motion him over, but when you try to flat him here, the only options are come back and smoke screen. So you want the flat just to drag the flat on, give yourself some more space. And... I'm gonna show you guys the vert hook cloud flat. It's gonna the wheel rod's gonna get in between it nine times out of ten, right? The only the only thing that might play it is maybe the vert hook, but it's really 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 rare for that to happen. Um, the wheel rod gets to a great spot. You guys can see right there, nice little pocket. I passed it outside. You probably shouldn't even do that. Um, it probably wasn't even a great pass lead, uh, but really really easy play. And it's really easy for short yardage. I'm going to show you guys the pocket it gets to again. Just to show you guys it sits in between that bird hook. Um, perfect spot. I'm getting three, seven, eight yards. And they're almost never going to use her that. Right? So. I'll put a hard flat out there. Show you guys that that won't play it either. Um, there you go. Hard flat. And I'm going to show you guys it's still going to get open for you. No problem. Plain and simple, right? Now, the only thing that's going to play this is if they shade down. So they have a shaded down, like a full out, every person on their team shaded down versus this vert hook. So sometimes they don't even get open anyways, but that's the only possible way they can play it, which is rare because a lot of the time people are going to be blitzing you. They're going to be making adjustments, they're gonna be manning up that vert hook, they might be spying that vert hook, they might be using that vert hook. There's so many different reasons why that wouldn't be there and it has to be shaded down. It's the only possible way to play it and it doesn't even happen every time. Uh, so right there, that's perfect, because it played it. You see, that played it for a second. Now, I could have passed that at late, but I kinda of just wanted to show you guys that it would play it. Um, that's the only way to play it. If it's not there, it's the easiest read ever. Um, so you guys see, it plays it for about a second and then he eventually backs off now I could pass it here um, but you're sending five out so you're probably not gonna have time to throw it I might have had time there but it doesn't really matter it's not the point of the play because um, it beats everything else and you're just trying to get short yardage and if they do that let me go back to the replay sorry about that you just throw your drag throw your curl uh, the low ball curl just like I showed you guys in the hot read before from the hitch low ball this curl it's really good the guy sits behind it so they're not going to pick it. If you just lowball it, he'll come forward a couple steps and usually catch it for you. Or you can just hot throw this drag. Really simple, right? So um, there's that. Now I'm going to show you guys everything else that it, it beats. So I'm going to double flat here. So I have Campbell and him out there. So no more vert hook. I'm not going to drown this. Uh, make this take longer than it needs to be because I know this already been a long video for you guys but I want to show you guys it bam it's like look how easy that is man so simple such an easy read beats everything literally has to have a vert hook shaded down to stop it that's it though man so we have a five out great play against blitzes we have a max pro to help pick you pick up blitzes and we have a four out play with good hot reads against blitzes and beats every coverage so hope you guys enjoyed man if you did like comment subscribe and let me know what i could have done better take it easy peace